Okay, this video I will talk about the algebraic expression, which is one of the very important thing in SPM also. Because but this is this is the chapter you learn in form two or form three. Okay, let's have a look on a few past example about about this algebraic expression two and three. Okay, first, let's have a look on this one. Okay. This one is very simple. He say express express h minus three divided by h minus two bracket five minus h divided by h square as a single fraction in its simplest form. Okay. Now the key word here will be the single fraction and then simplest form. Okay. Single fraction means you actually you need to combine these two fraction into one fraction one big fraction and then you have to simplify until it cannot be this simplified anymore okay so okay so first when you see this kinds of example first thing come into your mind will be this is the minus when you see minus what is so important about when you see minus is that you have to make sure the denominator of them are the same then only you can minus okay this this example actually is very easy to understand for example for example okay if you okay if if you like 5 over 3 minus 2 over 6 so in order to minus you have to make sure the denominator 3 will become 6 then only you can minus 1 because 3 and 6 we cannot straight away minus therefore we have to therefore we have to multiply 2 here and multiply 2 here in order to make the 3 become 6 then only we can multiply so in this example you got 10 over 6 minus 2 over 6 and then it's want to express this one into the single fraction it's called what 10 minus 2 divided by 6 this is what we call single fraction and then you you just solve it lah. and then you solve it you got 8 over 6 okay and then 8 over 6 what what they want now they want simplest form mean actually you have to simplify you simplify you got 4 over 3 okay this is something like simplest form okay so same thing here so in order to make the bottom set become the same i know this one actually we have to multiply h to make this one become h square so therefore i multiply h for top and bottom when you multiply h here you may have to make sure top you also multiply h so therefore you can see i multiply h okay so i multiply h here and then i multiply h here for both okay after that minus 2 h 2 5 h divided by h square okay so after i mount i multiply h what is happening here will be okay h multiple h i will get h square negative 3 multiple h will become negative uh okay negative 3 h divided by h multiple h i got h square minus this one multiple in okay this one multiple in we got 10 okay because the minus is on the middle here so you don't need to multiply negative 2 into this one because we got a minus here okay so i put a blanket to make things look simple okay so 10 multiple uh negative h we got negative 2 h divided by h square okay now both of them is h square already mean actually i can move that in a single form okay so if i move them in a sing single form i will got h square minus 3h okay this negative you have to make sure you must remember multiple for both okay so we got we've got minus 10 plus 2h okay and then and then we we simplify okay and then we simplify we've got h square minus 2h plus h is minus h minus 10 divided by h square okay this is what they call simple form okay if okay then maybe we can move on to the next 
example. Okay. So the next example will be this one. Okay. So you will see something. Okay, you will see something like this. Oops. Okay. So when you see something like this, first thing you have to know is it express p square plus one divided by three p minus p minus two divided by two. Okay, as a single fraction in its simplest form. So first thing you have to make sure their denominator is the same. This is three p. This is two. So in order to make their denominator become same, I know this one I have to multiply three p. Multiple three p, and this one I have to multiple two, multiple two. Mean actually I multiple each other. You see two here, so both I multiple two. You see three p here, both I multiple I multiple three p. So what I got here is, what I will got here will, will be, okay, two multiple. Okay, it's something like this. two multiple p square plus one divided by two multiple three p. You got six p minus. 3p multiple p, we got. Three, okay, I, I write one more time. p minus 2 divided by 6p. Okay, and then we write it in the simplest form. Okay, so I write 6p here. 2 multiple p square, we got 2p square. 2 multiple positive 2 plus 2. Okay, this one. 3p multiple p here, I will got 3p square. 3p multiple negative 2, I will get negative 6p. Okay? Therefore, here I continue to minus 3p. We want the negative have to multiply for both. So minus 3p square. Minus 3p square. And then minus negative 6p, we got plus 6p. Okay? If you're able to get this one, then you should be fine. And then what you what you can do after that is, after you got this one, you just solve whatever p square and p square can solve. I mentioned before, p square and p we cannot solve in plus and minus, unless it's multiple or divide. So when you see p square and p, you can, you should know this one you cannot plus or minus no matter how. Okay, so negative three p square plus two p, we got negative p square. Okay, plus six p, we write plus six p plus 2 divided by 6p okay so this is the what the so called simplest form okay so means actually you cannot simplify anymore so this one is the simplest form okay so let's have a look on the last last example here okay this example is a little bit different with the previous one because actually you have a divide here Okay, when you see fraction and you see divide, what will happen then? Okay, I, I put a simple example here. It's let's say 7 over 6 divided by divided by uh, 8 over 3. So normally if you see this example in mathematics, how we solve? We know actually divide, we have to change to multiple in order to do it. So when we change to multiple, 3 and 8 actually we have to flip over. So this one will become 7 over 6 multiple 3 over 8. We just flip over this one and then we simplify 3, 1, 3, 3 and 2, 2, 3, 6. So this one, 7 multiple 1, we got 7. 2 multiple 8, we got 16. So this one is, is, is what they call it single, single fraction and also this one is the simplest form. So same thing here, when you see divide, what you do like this one, you have to make the behind this one flip over and then you solve it. Okay, so okay, right here, 2m m plus 4n divided by, okay. Actually, this one is a very important thing. If you want to solve this kind of question, you have to understand what is the meaning by 9 minus n square. When you see something like 9 minus n square, you have to know about one formula value. You have to be very familiar with one formula is a square minus b square. Okay, this is the very important formula here. So this will mean a square minus b square. Because if a square minus b square, 
what we will got is we can get a minus b multiple a plus b okay this is some something like for formula in this chapter so therefore i have to change this one to a square this is 9 so we have to know 9 actually is 3 square minus n square and then this one we can change to 3 minus n 3 plus n okay this is something like formula okay because when you need to change to this one because later you have to simplify with 3 minus n so if you cannot know 9 minus n square is equal to 3 square minus n square and then get this one you cannot solve this question okay so i straight away change this one will be 3 minus n multiple 3 plus n okay if you are not believed you can multiple back then you can get back the same answer mean this one is equal to this one okay and then divide i change to multiple when i say multiple what should i do mean this one have to flip over so this is 3 minus n divided by 6 mn okay so therefore therefore you see 3 minus n and 3 minus n mean actually we can straight away simplify 3 minus n and 3 minus n okay and then this is multiple so this one after simplified we got one okay so this one is the whole thing multiple one is 2 mn plus 4 n divided by okay this one multiple in we got 6 mn multiple 3 plus n and then this one not yet in the simplest form because why we got 2n here make, means actually on the top part of this one we can factorize out n we, because both also got n one if you take out n from both i will still have 2m here and then plus 4 and then n and n actually i can straight away sim simplify because 6mn is equal to 6 multiple m multiple n so n and n actually i can still simplify so therefore i do one more step is n 2m plus 4 divided by okay 6mn 3 plus n then only i simplify the n okay after i simplify the n what the, my final answer will be 2m plus 4 divided by 6m 3 plus n okay and then because this one you should expand it so your answer will be 2m plus 4 divided by 18m plus 6mn just multiple 6m for both okay but then some of the some of the book you, actually, you can actually leave in this form so this is in S SPM paper 1 so if you do until here you see you got the answer in the ABCD already you can straight away circle if you still haven't got you just multiple 6m into a 3 and n and then you can got the answer okay so the key key point here is you must familiar with this formula okay in order to make this one a square minus b square become a minus b a plus b you you got two very important condition is the first condition both of them must be square and then the middle sign here must be minus okay if this is a square plus b square you cannot change to a minus n or a a plus n so you must make sure this one is minus both of them is the square here then this one we can straight away change to a minus b and then a plus b okay when this minus and both also have square then you can change to this this one okay and then you have to remember when you see multiple in the fraction you cannot solve you have to change to multiple because divide divide you, you cannot solve you have to change to multiple when you change to multiple divide change to multiple both of them in the behind have to flip over okay so thanks for this video i hope this video can help you thanks